Hey, what's up and welcome. It's Matthew here, the designer and developer from South Africa. In this video, we are going to solve a problem that I encountered while I was developing this awesome user interface. Let's just jump straight into it. As you can see, in this awesome OTP screen, when I'm typing, okay, the input moves up, okay? As you can see, the numbers are showing as I type interesting and cool beans but i wish when i'm done typing the otp i can just press continue without um clicking back or moving the keyboard out of the screen something like this okay as you can see in order for me to continue i need to always move the keyboard okay so i want this button to move with the keyboard as it shows up what are we going to use to solve that problem? We can use keyboard avoiding view. Now let's just jump straight into it. So what we are going to do, we are going to look for this um, component or element. Let me just remove it just to make sure this is the correct element. As you can see, the button is gone. And then when we bring it back, we save, then the button is back and then Let's cut this. We need to wrap this with keyboard avoiding view, as you can see from React Native. This is the keyboard avoiding view. So we are going to wrap this button with this keyboard avoiding view. Click save. And then when we type now, suppose this keyboard moves with um, this button, suppose it moves up with the keyboard, just like this input. Is that going to happen? To be honest, I am not sure. I'm relying on you. What do you think? But there is a way to know if it's going to happen or it's not going to happen. And that is to test. As you can see, guys, still the button is not showing. So in this um, video, this, these are the things that I wanted to show you. This doesn't mean that just by wrapping your element with keyboard avoiding view, automatically it's going to work okay now let's get into the props of the keyboard avoiding view okay so let's just um, go to our code let's look at um, a prop which is behavior okay which is behavior okay let's set it to padding okay and then let's um, click save okay as you can see guys now i can go back and then i can type so you see when i'm just about to type now i've got my button continue okay as you can see guys it moves with the keyboard so when i'm done i'm um, typing i can just click continue this improves the user experience these are the minor things that the newbies don't take care of this is coded design we take care of everything that might position us for employment we want to become better developers and also create not only awesome design because we can design but also we are looking at the dev aspect of it so that we can improve the user experience what if maybe you want to know how i have created and designed this interesting vibrant and fresh user interface in this video um in this channel i have not developed and designed it yet. So this video is a still to come why simply because i want to take this screen okay i want to take this screen and i want to include it in my own npm package in case you didn't know i am creating my own user interface library okay the name of it is africa but without the f instead of that f you just use ph so it's africa with ph okay if you want to know what is it or how it looks like if you know shed cn okay on the web this um, react native library it's like shared cn but for react native so this component here everything that you see here it's going to make it in that library okay maybe let's say you want to know how do i install the library then cool beans this is what you will do 
let's go to npm okay and then here at npm we are going to search africa okay which ph as you can see guys this is my library okay this has been created by coded design let's click search as you can see guys this is the library how do you install it you just type npmi africa okay then one might ask then how do i use it how do i know how to use it then you need to go back to your code obviously here it's not installed you need to go back to your code anywhere in your code um let's say when you are returning before you return let me just quickly show you here okay this is the best way to use this library okay before you return remove anything that is inside here okay this bracket and then you must just look for a component which is showroom okay it it will appear here it will tell you that import showroom from africa and then from then after you put your showroom everything will appear here including the instructions and the component that you can use i'm matthew Singati, the designer and developer if you feel like this video has added value into your overall understanding of user interface please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button this is guaranteed that this is adding value if not i will give you your money back i know you are asking when did you pay me you are already paying me your attention that's why at coded design we need to pay you back with unmatched skills for you to land a job don't forget to code badly with pride see you on the next one